Africa, 500 to BCE to AD 500. Most of Africa was unaffected by outside influences. In West Africa, new nations were being formed, and migration was changing in Southern Africa. The introduction of the camel to the Sahara brought major changes around 100 BCE. Caravans were able to cross the desert, carrying gold, ivory, gum, spices, and slaves. Trading towns became established in West Africa. Genegeno, Niani, Yelwa, and Nok were on the rivers of the edges of the deserts and rainforests. These towns were capitals of the first budding African states. North-South trade passed through the Moroei and Aksum, bypassing the Sahara into regions now known as Chad, Rwanda, and Kenya. Aksum. The Moroei collapsed in 350 BCE, and Aksum, on the Red Sea coast of Ethiopia, grew rich, exporting ivory, precious stones, and perfumes to Arabia, Greece, and Rome. Reaching its peak in AD 350, around that time, its king, Izana, adopted Christianity. Cities and great monoliths were built. Aksum thrived until about AD 1000. Bantu Expansion Farming Bantu-speaking people from Nigeria eventually migrated to south and east, and by 500 they had occupied central and southern Asia, leaving the rainforest to the Pygmies and the Kalahari Desert to the Khoisan Bushmen. On Africa's east coast, the Bantu had started to trade with the Greeks and the Romans. 